Hey everyone, this is Ashley with CT Arena Digitals. I'm going to show you a tutorial today on how to use my RIP paper backdrop overlays um, in Photoshop. I'm going to do a couple of different photos. I have these two open right now. Um, all you have to do to open, you can either open your overlay um, in Photoshop and copy and paste it over your image. Um, if you want to do that, you would just simply um, select your backdrop, select all, edit, copy, and paste. Um, but I am, I like to do it a different way. Um, so I'm going to go up to file and place embedded. And I'm going to use this blue one right here. And then it's going to automatically place it over my image. I'm going to resize it. Um, click the check mark. And then this way, if I'm not sure which one I want to use, I can right click on that layer and go up to replace contents. And I can just pick a different one. Um, so it makes it easier to do that. I'm going to undo that. Okay. So this is super easy. I mean, it's a, it's a PNG, um, file, so it will automatically show your subject. Um, I do want to tweak the color a tiny bit. I do have 19 different colors in there, but of course you're going to have to tweak it a little bit for certain photos. Um, so I'm going to go up to my adjustment, um, panel and I'm going to go to hue and saturation. I'm going to click this right here to make sure that it is only affecting uh, my overlay and not my um, image. And I'm just going to slide this until it matches my back drop back here more, at least for this one, I want it to kind of match. Okay. And that's it. I'm just going to highlight these two layers, right click and merge layers. That's done. So depending on, um, what you're going for, like if you want the crease in the backdrop to show down here, you can leave it. Sometimes that's better for like, if you want to edit a leg coming out, um, but I actually don't want it there. So I'm simply going to go up to my marquee tool. I'm going to highlight that area, go up to edit and fill content aware, press OK. And sometimes it does it good. Sometimes it does it wonky. That was a little wonky. So what I'm going to do is go to my healing tool and I'm just going to use that instead. And it's that easy. That one's done. Um, okay, so this one, I'm going to go up to file, place embedded. I want to use, definitely use my olive one for this one. Because it's the same color as the wrap. Size it however you wish. And now I want it a little bit darker. So again, I'm going to go up to my adjustment layers. I'm going to go to my curves, check this right here to make sure it's only on the backdrop. And I'm going to just drag it down a little. And that's good. If you start to see a little banding, um, all you have to do, I'm going to merge those layers is add a little bit of noise. So I'm just going to go up to filter noise, add noise. And I want 1.53, I do between 1.53 and 2. Um, press OK. And that's it. It is super simple. Um, if you want some light to kind of match the backdrop, I'm going to go over to my um, dodge tool, make this part of the backdrop a little bit lighter to match the light that's on her. Um, dodge some areas, obviously edit it to your preference, but the overlay itself is super easy to use. Um, if you want, you can add a texture. Um, so to do that, I'm going to go up to file, 
place embedded again. I'm going to go up to my textures. Um, I'm going to use this one. Turn it here. Now I want this texture to not be colored, so I'm going to go to my black and white. Make it black and white again, this so it only goes on to there. And then highlight both. Merge layers. I'm going to turn it to soft light. And now I'm going to press Alt on my keyboard and I'm going to click between my texture layer and my overlay. That way it's only on that. Um, and now I'm going to create a layer mask. Use a black brush at 100% opacity because I do not want it to be on the back side of the backdrop part that's curled up. I do not want it to be there. So I'll just brush that off. I'm just going to kind of do a quick job of it. Obviously you can make it nicer, um, taking a bit more time. You can leave the texture on the inside of it if you want to, but I think it looks better to take it off. Um, and these textures are in my shop as well. I use them for pretty much every session. Okay, that's good for being quick for now. Zoom out. I am going to click on my, oops, sorry, on my texture and I'm going to blur it a little bit so it's not so textured. There we go. Before and after of the texture and before and after of the whole thing. That's all.